In this video, we're going to look at how we can rehearse our presentation, as well as how we can play the presentation full screen or in a window. Let's go to my Mac. So I'm done with my presentation. The next step is to rehearse it. Let's make sure I get the timing right. How do we rehearse before we give the presentation? Well, basically all we have to do is just go up under play in the menu bar here. And what you're going to see is rehearse. Now what it will do when I select this is it will rehearse it from the slide that is selected. So right now I have this slide here selected, which means it's going to start from that slide. So you want to make sure that you select the first slide if you want to rehearse your entire presentation. So I'm going to go up to my first slide here. I click on it and now I'm ready to rehearse. So I go back over to play here and then we go over to rehearse. This does open up in full screen. Let's take a look at the different options we have when we rehearse. And now I'm ready to rehearse. So the first thing is, is we can customize what is shown on this screen. You're going to see I have the time here. I also have the current slide. I have presenter notes. I also have the next slide. If you want to remove any one of these, all you have to do is just go to the upper right hand corner to where you see this little icon here. Now if you do not move your cursor for a while, that icon will disappear. When I zoom back out, you're going to see that that icon is no longer there. What you have to do is you have to move your cursor and then it shows up. So when I click on this, what I'm able to do is select what I want to see. This is much like customizing the presenter display. So if I no longer want to see the presenter notes, all I have to do is just deselect this and we can see it remove the presenter notes. I no longer want to see the timer. I deselect it and we can see that it removed the timer. If I have a live video in one of my slides, I can always show that live video so then I can see if I'm on the camera right. And then if you want to customize the presenter display, you can go right to customizing the presenter display, which is very similar to this. A little bit of changes to it. I have a separate video on that. So we can customize what we see here. Now we also have various keyboard shortcuts available to us when we're giving the presentation. So if you want to rehearse that, you can use those keyboard shortcuts. What are those keyboard shortcuts? Well, all you have to do is just go up to the question mark here. And when I click on this, I can see all of the keyboard shortcuts. To remove it, I just click on the X here and it moves it out of the way. I want to see all of the slides. We go over to the left here, you're going to see Show Navigator. Again, this will disappear if I do not move my cursor. I'm going to zoom out. I move my cursor away from it and you're going to see it will disappear. How do I get it back? I just move my cursor up there again and Show Navigator. Now I can select which slide I want to go to. So if I need to rehearse a specific slide or group of slides, I can do that as well. Just select which slide you want to go to and then you can rehearse that part of the presentation. So now you've rehearsed your presentation. What's next? Well, the next thing is, is to give the presentation. We have a couple of options when we give the presentation. I'm going to click on the X here. We can give the presentation in full screen or what we can do is give it in a window. To select which way you want to give the presentation, what you do is you go up to play and then you're going to see in full screen and in windows. So right now it is in full screen, which means when I go and play the slideshow, what it's going to do is go into full screen. So it's taken up my entire screen. If I go into windowed mode, I hit escape to get out of my presentation. To go into windowed mode, I just click on play again, and then we go over to end window. And now when I click on the play button, you're going to see that it is in a window here. I can move this around, I can resize it. It's in a window. I can also see what the next slide is here. I have my notes here. And then if I want to see a thumbnail of all the different slides, I click on this and I can see a thumbnail of all the slides. I want to customize this little window. I go over to the right, Click on this icon and I can customize what is shown. In most cases, what you'll do is you'll present this in full screen. So I'm going to go back to play here and then we go into full screen. So now it's going to play in full screen. So that's how we rehearse and play our presentation in Keynote on the Mac. To rehearse it, you just go up under play and click on rehearse. It opens up in full screen and you can customize what you see.
Once you have rehearsed it, the next thing you need to decide is if you want to play it in full screen, which is probably how it will work in most cases, or you can play it in a window. Again, you go up under play in the menu bar and select how you want to play it. So that's how we rehearse and play our presentation in Keynote on the Mac.